Now, reflective writing in clinical settings can be a valuable tool to process and learn from your experiences. However, several common issues may arise when engaging in reflective writing in a clinical setting. Sometimes reflective writing may be too superficial, focusing on events and actions without delving into the deeper emotions, thoughts or personal insights related to the clinical experience. The next one is lack of critical analysis. So failing to critically evaluate actions and experiences. So what is your solution? Question assumptions, challenge beliefs and analyze the impact of actions. So time constraints. Students always say they don't have enough time, so they feel rushed, leading to hurried and incomplete reflections. So the solution is to allocate dedicated time, plan reflections in advance and prioritise the process. Another common theme is the over-reliance on positive experiences. So people emphasise success stories while avoiding challenges or failures. So the solution is to embrace setbacks, analyse failures and extract valuable lessons from that. Another common mistake is failure to identify learning points. So difficulty in recognising certain takeaway or lessons learned. So the solution is to focus on insights gained, your changes in thought and personal growth. Another common mistake with reflective practice is lack of consistency. So inconsistent reflective practices hindering continuous and uh, kind of improvement. So the solution is to establish a regular routine, integrate reflection into daily activities and set reminders to do it after clinical practice. Another one is dismissing feedback from peers, university lecturers, supervision staff. So the solution is to embrace constructive criticism, view feedback as a learning opportunity and incorporate suggestions and comment on whether they worked or not. So the inability to connect theory and practice. So struggling to link academic knowledge with real world experiences. The solution should be to integrate the theory concepts that you learn and explore practical applications and highlight the connections. So you might have been struggling with something um, in a clinical situation. You've highlighted it within your reflective practice. You kind of put the action points that you want to do. So maybe it's to read academic papers. Maybe it's to discuss something with your peers or your, the university staff. And then linking that theory into practice, into that real world situation. Another aspect is fear of judgment. So the resistance to express personal thoughts due to the fear of judgment. So the solution it should be to create a non-judgmental environment, emphasise self-reflection and value individuals' different thoughts. Everyone is different. Everyone will reflect differently. And there should be no judgment when you do use reflective practice, especially in an assessment situation. And the last point is limited variety in reflective methods. So sticking to a single reflective approach leads to boredom. Um, the solution should be experiment with diverse methods such as visual aids, discussion or creative expression. Navigating these challenges can enhance the effectiveness of reflective practice, fostering continuous learning um, and professional development.